okay guys so in this lesson we're going to be looking at okay optimizing and fixing some things now um without actually wasting much time let me show you some of the things that okay we actually need to um work on and optimize okay so we have the um website right here now if you should come down and then let's scroll let's scroll let's scroll okay we have um the home page looking a bit okay don't mind the images and the icons yet we're going to work on that in later lessons now if i should come to about now normally there should be um a breadcrumb so but um like for example in this particular finished project we have a breadcrumb right here and then um there should be um something similar in the services and then the services shouldn't look this way something definitely is wrong somewhere and let's look at the contact okay the contact is still um looking a bit okay but it's still also missing that breadcrumb now but the major thing we need to work on is on this services page and the services component so what exactly is the issue let's go into our code and let's see okay how to actually fix all of those now the first thing i want to actually do is okay um add the breadcrumbs so adding the breadcrumbs here okay um in all of the um pages the other pages apart from the home page so let's see how we're going to do that okay i think we can just um come here and then we have here breadcrumbs okay and instead of okay about i'll just say um page okay so let's just say page and then we're going to um import the link from the react file to dom from react file to dom okay so we import these and then the link and then right here we alight um select rather link sorry and then instead of href you know what we do we just change this to two and then slash we don't need to put any other thing and then okay that works so the thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open each oh and sorry i just remembered we also have the team okay so we're going to have the team services and okay let me show you so you have a better idea what i'm talking about now right here the finished one we have team right here in the services and same with the about but we don't have it in contact so let's see how, um solve that so we've come under services then services about and contact um pages that we actually need to do something something very quick now these components are going to be showing up in the pages now i don't want them to be this cumbersome so what i want to actually do is now i can create um a subfolder or i can add it here but just for separation of concern i can just come here new folder and i can just say um so um no let's say pages yeah let's put something such as pages now inside of these i'm going to create th three new components so the first component is going to be about body dot js the second one is going to be okay the services this body dot js and then the last one is going to be the contact body js note if you don't do it exactly this way it still works but what i'm just going to do is i'm going to um import so okay the about body and then i'm going to come here to the about so let me just drag it over here and then every other damn thing that is here so right here from here we're just going to cut everything so Control x cut it out and then just let's paste right here 
so i'm going to make this into a jsx fragment and then okay so let's just paste it in here and then right here inside the about then we can come here and then instead render so what we want to render is about body so it automatically imports it and then up here we're going to actually put the breadcrumbs also breadcrumb okay okay let's see that should have imported okay no problem so we're going to import that manually so we have the breadcrumb right here okay so we're going to come here so import breadcrumbs from so breadcrumbs so we have this here and then lastly we want to import the theme And lastly, we want to import the theme. Okay, so what I'm going to do is import then theme from then this slash. Okay, then we have yet. See, so let's save that and let's check the about page and let's see if they um that gives us any any error. Okay, it hasn't rendered yet. So let's refresh that and see. Okay all right now right here it's rendering okay and then right down here we have also the team um component showing up so i think that looks a bit much better our code base looks a bit a um, bit much better so we have just these and these and these which is actually um totally fine so let's close this up and we're going to do the same thing for the remaining um component so we have for the services copy everything we have right here so i'm copying it with the jsx fragment this time and then we're going to cut that okay we still need to return the jsx fragment okay so let's leave that and then right here we're going to create a react functional um component and then just replace everything here with that and then let's save that and then right here in services we can just come services body all right that auto imports it and then we're going to just import import breadcrumbs from then breadcrumbs and then we are going to import the theme also then that is actually then let's save that and we know we should be done with that and then we're going to do the same for the contact body and then we're going to create a react functional component okay and then right here from here we're going to copy everything okay we're cutting that and then pasting it right here and then right here let's just return some jsx fragments okay so the first thing is then the contact so let's opt to import that and then something similar to what we have right here so let's copy this and then just paste it here okay we don't need the theme right here in the contact page so we only need the breadcrumb okay that should work just fine so let's close this so this is actually looking a bit better because now we have everything separated and then we'll be able to manage it more efficiently so we have here okay the about and let what about the services so the services we also have these now but a little bit of concern now let's solve the issue we have 
with um the services now let's go into our services now we're not going to our services page directly um component directly because we know it hosts the services body the breadcrumbs and the team and that's one of the best things with using um a library such as react so if i should come here to my services body i know the issue is here somewhere so what could be the issue now i'm already saying what the issue is now we have the class name yeah now the class name the name should be camera case that is where we have the class it should end with um capital letter hand then a m e so let's um do that so the issue is with the capital letter here or the caps um the upper case so let's just come here and then we search for class name now what i'm going to do is revert it to class now if you should do something such as search for class name and then replace it with class name and then let's see what that does you see then we have this which is not what we want so i'm going to undo that okay so class name we'll first change it to class so let's replace everything back to class and then we search for that class name and then um that class and replace it with class name so let's do that and then let's save and then let's come back here Okay, so I think that's taking long to compile and render. So let's just refresh. Okay, so let's see what could be the issue. Okay, we're still having this right here. So let's undo that. We want it to be in uppercase. Okay, all right, now that works. So let's check this right here and then i'm going to manually refresh this oh viola and then we have it okay so this is looking good and better at least okay so we have our about and then the services and then the contact everything working well so in the next um lesson we're going to look at okay um props passing in props so now instead of now the breadcrumb page it's showing the same content okay the same um title in each of um the component each of the pages which is what's something we don't want and also um yeah right here so we're going to make use of um what we're a bit more dynamic so see you